Today we're covering currency, food, and items in this overview. Let's start with currency. Gold is the primary currency in Hexplorit. You can use it to purchase food, items, and equipment. Each hero may carry up to 100 times their initial food rating. Heroes with an initial food rating of 0 may still carry up to 100 gold. Nature's Essence is a currency that appears in Volume 2, The Forests of Adramon. It is broken into three varieties, Infused Seeds, Essence Vines, and Heart of the Forest. Generally, you'll find these while adventuring, but the heroes may also buy and sell Nature's Essence in Wayposts. There is no limit to how much you may carry. Unlike gold, Nature's Essence is a shared currency. Platinum is a currency that appears in Volume 3, The Sands of Shirax. It is used to purchase high-value items and comes into play in one of the four win scenarios for that volume. One platinum is worth 100 gold, though normally it cannot be converted. Like Nature's Essence, platinum is a shared currency and the group may only carry up to 100 platinum. Each of these currencies are covered in more depth in the applicable rulebook. Let's take a look at food. We know that each hero may carry up to a total of five times their initial food rating inherited by your hero's race. If your food rating increases, the total food you may carry also increases by five. Heroes with an initial food rating of zero may still carry up to five food. Let's take a look at reward icons. Currency, food, power-ups, and other icons can be found on many cards in the game. These are rewards the players receive after accomplishing a task. As mentioned previously, some of these are shared by the group. Each hero receives the gold, food, and power-ups shown, while platinum, nature's essence, and fragments are only rewarded once to the group. Each game handles rewards a little differently, so check out the rulebook for more information. Let's talk about items. There are a ton of items to be found in each volume. Most are marked as either a consumable, which is usable only once, or a permanent item. You can keep track of them in the backpack area of your roll mat. Some items are group items, which means they are carried by and affect the entire group. Some items have a wielder bonus. That is a special stat increase that only affects the wielder. There is no limit to the number of items your heroes may carry, though some items may be limited to only one per hero. Or one per group. You may always share gold, food, and other items with your party members while you are outside of combat. During combat, you may give a single item to another hero while defending. That's it for now. Enjoy your adventures!